Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Phyllis Philippians 4.13. I can do any everything through him who gives me strength. So yeah. One of my favorite verses, but it's written elsewhere and I like anyway. So he gives me strength and I can do anything. Um okay, so today in off the hook, I've got one thing off the hook, one thing I consider off the hook, and then some progress. So, um, I told you guys last week about the Valentine exchange that we're doing at work. Um, I got a whole lady and asked her, yeah, about how many of those do we do? And she said anywhere from 18 to 24, you know. And so I was like, okay. So I made 24 of these. These are my little Valentines. And it says a Valentine's bookmark just for you. And then I crocheted a little heart with a thing so they can have the heart sticking out of the binder and the little marker there for their book. So, um, yeah, I have those. And I have all 24 done. I have some red, some pinks. I have some scrap yarn that I did. So I'm ready for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> all right. The other thing is, is that um, I had a friend, she's not like a close friend or anything, she's a friend, and, uh, anyway, she, she, uh, lost a brother-in-law, and then, like, two days later, lost her best friend, so she was having it really rough, and believe it or not, I didn't have any prayer shawls done, none, so, I still have uh, a skein of yarn that I plan on making a prayer shawl out of. I just don't have it done. So I put everything on hold and I made this one. It is whites and grays. And I don't know if you can see that it's got glitter type in it. It's kind of got some glitter so she can wear it, you know, fancy if she wanted to. Um, so, yeah, I made this one and... I'm sending it home with her husband. I mean, he, I don't see her every day, but I see him because we work together every day. So it's kind of a work friend type thing. So, um, she's really sweet though. That's the thing. And she's just having it rough. And she said that some little couple of nights, and I'll text her and just say, you know, you are my thoughts or prayers. And I put the tag in there and I wrote on it what size hook I used and the last of the yarn in case anything needs to happen. She can always get it repaired. But because I'm not going to be the one that takes it to her, I'm just going to send it with their hubby. I don't have a way to like tell her. I'm not going to do a long text about prayer shawls. And... Anyway, so I wrote a small little poem called The Prayer Shawl. Super simple, short to the point. It says, <coughs> each stitch is made with prayers and love. It's kissed by the angels and Lord above. When you get it, when you get lonely or even blue, it holds a hug from heaven just for you. Super simple. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to get that to her. I'm going to put it in one of the bags that I make, it's not going to stay in this, but I have to take it to work, so I just, this is how I have it set. Um, okay, the other thing that I've been working on, that, like I said, everything went on hold for that to get it done. Um, the last funeral is today, and she's going to be feeling down, so, yeah. Alright, I'm trying to not drop a stitch, that's why I'm Okay, so, I am still working on this pullover, which is, you know, so, and I've decided to go with this pattern right here, just, I'm going to pull y'all closer, just hang on there, there we go. I don't know why I said it so far away, um, I have, so it's got single crochet, five, um, rows of double crochet and then I've done 
like a little, I don't know that you guys can see that, a little gap there. And just put little, I call them windows. And then I did five more rows and then I've got the windows. So, um, I know this doesn't look like I've done much, you know, but I am on this one. This is only one row behind this one. So I am working them both at the same time. So I have all of this doubled. Um, but there is the pattern again. And you can see it. There we go. So, yeah. I have this side done. And I still have quite a bit of yarn, to be honest with you. Um, I am pretty sure that by the time I get done with that one, because I still have two more balls of these, and I still have this much on this side, so it's going to do, if I had to guess, 10, 20, we're going to say there's 25 rows in here. There's more, but we're going to, so 25, and I'll bet you this will do another 25 rows, and then this will probably do 50 rows, so it will be long. It will be what I want it to be, um, and yeah, I think it's going to do quite nicely. But we'll see. So I do have, now I will tell you, I had to rip part of this out too because this one that I'm working on, when I counted, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Okay, so when I did, and I can't remember if it's this one or that one, um, I had gotten to the um, spacer rows. And when I counted, I had already done like one, two rows or three rows of the spacer row. When I counted, I only had three rows in here on one and five on the other. So I had to rip the spacer rows back out and redo that. So, yeah, you know, I can't do just one project and not have to rip out at all. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. But I do have the two sides that are coming along quite nicely. Um, all right. Sorry. Um, if I don't put it all together, I found that I leave my hooks everywhere. And then I have to go back and guess which hooks go where. And I've been getting really bad about it here lately. So, all right. I did get some sewing done, so there'll be a sewing section this week. Um, RJ, let's see here. What's going I told you about my friend and doing her prayer shawls. Um, Duck is doing great. He's down there just doing whatever. I went and fed him, and he, I don't feed him every day, um, and he is still surviving. So there are fish. There is, um, Overgrow, I mean, anytime it's really cold, I do feed him. And uh, anytime I think the pond freezes, I feed him. Uh, anytime, I probably feed him every other day. Every, not every other, maybe every two days. I go down there and I have food and I feed him. And so he's eating, he's drinking, and he's doing really good. He doesn't come to me very often. And when his wild friends are around, he gets mad if I go down there. So... Anyway, um, so that's, you know, that's the duck. Worm and Hitch are doing good. Um, I guess in the farmhouse, really, uh, so RJ had his ACRA finals this weekend. He told you in the drawing video that that's what he was getting ready for. He also told you that Coop was retired. Well, some things happened. First off, he had a horse that he was going to be mounted. You know, there's people that go to the finals with good horses and they make their money by mounting. And we've done this before. Coop used to be one of those horses that would mount people at the ACRA finals. 
problem is, is that he got a horse because he's got Thumper, who is the new one that you saw. It's up and coming. He's been off the farm three times. Um, wasn't, you know, he didn't do bad. RJ, he made good, clean runs. But he is not ready for the hype. And the finals has light shows and fireworks and the works. So, um, yeah, and it's loud and it's, they always use that thing, let's get ready to rumble. And they yell and everybody stomps their feet. And it, it's just a rodeo thing. So, um, he's not left the farm and not been around enough noise to take that. So he couldn't use Thumper. He got with a gentleman and said, Hey, I need a mount for the ACRA finals if I'm going to have a chance. And he said, Okay, I got you a mount. And when you mount, um, if you win anything, then you pay for the use of the horse. That's the way it goes. So um, RJ says, All right, not a problem. <sighs> That gentleman was out of town. He was going to send his wife with the horse. And so he says, she doesn't have a way in. RJ says, I'll pay for her to get an armband for the whole weekend. And she's okay. So the day before, this is Wednesday evening, afternoon, late afternoon. Um, RJ gets a call and the horse that was supposed to mount him had cut his back leg. Now, how, it, you know, we've had horses do it, and I still don't understand how he was standing in his own stall and cut his leg. They can't figure out how he did it, what he did it on, how, you know, we've had horses with stitches up their face, um, their leg, their shoulder, you know, Coop did her knee one year, and yeah. Almost took her out of commission. So, yeah. Anyway, so he had no mount. He called around Wednesday night um, when he found out that he wouldn't. And they're just, uh, there was one guy and he says, my horse can do it. But he says, I'm roping and he can't do six runs. And so that's a lot of it. When you are at the finals, you have to either have a horse that can do it every night, bang, 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 or you're not going to have any chance. And some horses can do one run a night. Some can do two runs a night. Um, it takes a toll on those horses. I mean, they're going out there for, you know, let's just say under 15 seconds, okay? It, between 15 and 10 and they're giving it 100% and some of those horses don't understand their job until they're a little bit older. So it, it can take a toll on it. So RJ didn't really have a mount. He said, you know what, mom, I'm just going to take Coop. He walked out in the pasture, pulled her off the pasture, halted her, he got down there the first night and she did okay. He he didn't win any money. He was one out of the money. And uh, so he warmed her up really good. Okay. But yeah, she was a little on. She keeps herself in shape. She loves to run and she runs around and around. So she kind of keeps herself in shape, but not in good athletic shape for competition. And uh, so through it all, every night he was one out of the money. But he brought home second in the average. So you have to catch all three to get a paycheck in the average. And if you don't, you're knocked out of the average. So you can get round money, but that's it. Well, I'm sorry, I have an itch. Like a little bug is biting me or something. I don't have bugs, but anyway. <laughs> um, so anyway, he... Uh, that average money, and that is really cool because to say you were second at finals, which is what he was, um, yeah, that's something, okay? 
So he led the average um, for champion throughout the year, off and on him and these two guys, you know, there's two or three of them. And then RJ lost Cooper's amount and he was having to find other horses and ride other horses and he slowly got moved to, I think, third going into it. So he, yeah, he did his best and he walked away with second. I'm okay with that. Super proud of him. But through the whole weekend, he had kind of written himself off saying what will be will be because I haven't, and I told him, I said, God is setting you up for a miracle. Just one of those little everyday miracles is going to happen. I said, Coop knows her job and you know, she knows her job. And I said, now, is she in shape? No. Is she, you know, going to do amazing things? Yes. She, he, God is setting you up for a miracle. And every night I would tell him, you know, Go in there with the mindset, you know, drop your head. Thank God that you're there and th for the chance to do your run. And you watch God work. And uh, he went in there and like I said, he was like, well, what will be will be. I just, I don't have a good horse and this is not happening. You know, it is what it is. And every night he was one out of the money, one out of the money. And he uh, didn't get really excited about it. The first night he was like, oh, I was one out of the money. But you didn't miss is what I told him. And every time that we had this conversation and going into it, I'd type amen. And he, amen, mom, amen. And so uh, by the second night when he was still in the money, you know, still, he says, I was one out of the money again last night. And I said, well, amen. You got a second one down. And uh, so the third night comes around and I called him and that they have, they're sponsored by the Hard Rock Cafe or Hard Rock Hotel, whatever, the casino. And they have a big awards presentation and all of that that goes on Friday night, they gather with all the cowboys. So he was out late with Macy. They were doing the official rodeo banquet thing. And uh, hanging out at the casino with their friend. You know, it is what it is. So anyway, uh, the next morning I tried to call him and he didn't answer. He didn't answer. I was like, are you up? He literally texts me back. He says, I'm resting up for my final run okay so it was like one o'clock and I was like are you even up yet he goes I got a lot of rest I was out late but if God's gonna use me for a miracle I gotta be you know rest well rested to take it and so um each night he didn't text me until after like 10 o'clock 11 o'clock when they were on the way home and I was like okay you know and after Friday night I didn't text him that night until the next morning to see how he'd done because he was out with his friends and, you know, the banquet. Anyway, so, uh, then Sunday, I was sitting here, or Saturday, it was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, I was sitting here and about 9.40, my phone starts going off and lo and behold, he has play second in the round and he did not wait for the rodeo to end before he called me and told me and I just was laughing I was like oh my goodness I said you think that you know there's your little miracle and he was like you're not funny mom and I said well you better be thanking God and uh, you know I said you better be thanking God for the three rounds you had and for the money that you walked away with. And he goes, absolutely. And I told him, I said, you got to get back to being in that right mindset. I said, could you imagine what God could do in you if you'd let him help? And he's like, yeah, I get it. You know, <laughs> but he's kind of gotten away from that. He used to bow his head every time he entered the arena 
and he used to bow his head every time he left. Um, regardless of what happened in the arena, he thanked God going into it, and however it turned out, he thanked God coming out. So he just needs to get back to that. All right, there is some sewing that will take place in the sewing section. Um, I actually have a meeting tomorrow morning, so I'm recording this a uh, day early. So, yeah, we should be back on schedule. But anyway, so that's our big um, little miracle for this weekend was RJ won second in the average at the ACRA finals. And uh, he did really good. So, all right, you guys have an amazing week. And I will see you in the sewing section. Thanks. Bye.